Welcome back. A nonprofit is inviting women across the country to get political. Vote Run Lead is a nonpartisan organization that's helping women to run for office. And there's a training session tomorrow right here in Metro Detroit. Tina Barton joins me now. She's a city clerk for Rochester Hills and one of the leaders of tomorrow's training session. And thank you so much, Tina, for being thank here you. with it's us. Love that T-shirt. Thank and you. By the way, we have to know, we have to point yes. out what does it say on the back? Let's let's show everybody. Go vote, go run, go lead, go girl. That's right. I love that. So, Tina, tell me a little bit more about this organization. You were saying that you've been involved for four years now. Yes, right about uh, four years. So we're a nonprofit, nonpartisan, which is what I love, is that it's not about um, party. It's about parity, yeah. and it's about bringing women to the table and getting them involved in government and running in political offices. And which is so important, absolutely. right? I mean, I, would you say that women are still, you know, majorly underrepresented right now? Absolutely. I mean, we are more than 50% of the population, um, but right now you're looking at about a 10% representation in the Michigan Senate and about a 25% representation in the House of Representatives. Okay. And now this is a national organization, yes, it is. but is run in several different cities across the country. That's correct. correct. They are doing um, um, education right now that's called Run As You Are, and we are putting on uh, training sessions in more than 10 cities across the nation, and we'll be holding over 15 diff different training sessions. And what would you say are the biggest obstacles for women right now in terms of getting more involved, more engaged with politics? I would say for um, most candidates, actually, the, the biggest obstacle is fundraising, mm, yeah. it's time, and it's campaigning. And um, also, I would say that politics for a lot of people seems a little scary. Yeah, I was going to say, it, I mean, it can be a nasty business, right? And so for some people, um, they look at that and they just don't want to get involved in it. But I would say probably fundraising, if you asked any political candidate, what's the worst part of your job, they would say fundraising. Why are you so passionate about this? Why do you think more women need to be in politics and that we need this representation? Well, when we're more than 50% of the population and we're coming in nationally and statewide at only 20% of representation, um, our voices need to be heard. We have different perspectives to bring to it. We have great leadership skills. Um, it's not uh, just a male thing to be a great leader. Absolutely. And there are a lot of women out there who could step up and can make a difference. I always say, I, I wonder what would happen if instead of you know, 50 men talking about, uh, you know, big conflicts on the world stage. We had 50 women doing it. You wonder yeah. um, if maybe we would have a more peaceful world. I don't know, just a thought, <laughs> just a thought. Um, but tell me, I mean, what's the trend you're seeing? I mean, since this, you know, has been going on, I know this isn't the first time it's, mm -hmm. it's you know, happened in Detroit. What kind of trend are we seeing? Are we seeing more women get involved? Well, since the 2016 election, so let's look back to the beginning of our organization. We were looking at, in a few years' time, we would train a couple thousand people. Uh, since November of 2016, we actually have had over 7,000 women sign up for our wow. training sessions. Wow. I think that that was a compounded factor in that um, some people looked at that and maybe they were really unhappy with the results they saw. I think it also is some people looking at that and saying, you know what, we are in a political climate now where people are tired of the status quo, sure. they're tired of politics as usual, career politicians, political dynasties, we're looking for different representation and we're open to that. And I think the voters resoundingly made uh, the country aware Absolutely. of that. And no matter what your politics are, I mean, having seen mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton get as far as she did, yes. likely, you know, push the barrier and, you know, etched at the at that ceiling, to crack the ceiling a little bit for women. Absolutely. So tell me really quickly about tomorrow's event. So tomorrow's event will be um, held at the local uh, union there on in Southfield, and we'll have that information up on your screen. And uh, what they will be is a 9.30 to four session. It's uh, a smaller session where you're gonna get a lot of hands-on training that's gonna really give you direction and a path into how you can run for office. This session is not just for someone who is all set ready to go on their campaign. Right. So for me, this session is about um, getting the message out to, out there that it's whether you're curious or whether you're committed. Right. So and just, even if uh, and you're just, just trying to feel it out right yeah. now and you're not really sure. And Sometimes uh, you don't know how to execute. You have yes. the idea, you want to go for it, but you just don't know how to do that's it. That's so you really lay that out for people. Right. They're going to get a 90-day challenge that's going to be laid out before then. We're going to give them over 60 different resources that are awesome. going to help them get to where they want to go. Well, we love the girl power. We're an all girl team <laughs> here right now. So more, more power to you. I'll give thank you a high you, five for thank that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. We will post more details at WXYZ.com and we'll take a quick break. Thank you.